What's going on y'all? Welcome to today's video. Today we're going to be taking a quick look at the Creality Ender 3 V3. Creality had just sent this over for me to give a try and I'm super excited because this is the first plus size 3D printer that we're going to be reviewing on the channel in 2024. I'm going through the initial self check right now. Seems to be going well. Overall, the setup process went very well. I would say that there was only like 12 bolts in total that you actually had to screw in. The gantry was already put together. It was really just taking this here, these little supports in the back and getting them bolted down. That was probably the most tedious task. And it, the funny thing is it's not even really tedious. It was just making sure that you screwed them incorrectly and stuff like that. One thing I think Creality could really work on is the documentation. It was a little hard to follow in the book, but as far as a video tutorial, I found one online made by Creality and it was working great. So that's how I actually went through the process of setting this up. Also, I just panned over here because it looks like this is going through the input shaping, which I'm super excited to see on this printer. It's so crazy to me how far the Ender 3 V2 to the Ender 3 V3, actually all the upgrades they made and kept it nearly at the same price point. This thing sounds like a jet engine taking off. I don't know if you guys can hear that. So yeah, overall, the setup process was great. We're gonna get through one test print here, see what it looks like, and then we'll do a couple videos later on with whatever else you guys would like to see with the Creality V3 Plus. But yeah, let's get a Benchy going. So we're starting to finish up some initial prints. I've got the Benchy here looking good. I actually printed two because I didn't believe that it could replicate the same quality at that speed. Slicing on that model was just great. I am interested to try some custom slice models. At the time of this recording, there isn't any presets that are built into Creality Print or honestly any other slicer because it's just such a new printer. So I'm gonna build my own custom print profile, tinker around with it and see how it does. We'll do another video on that. That'll probably be in the long-term review. If you guys find this interesting, I'll do a long-term review of it. That being said, right now I've got something else printing. This is just the phone holder that comes on it. Actually, wow, I could not time that any better. It just finished. So this phone holder, it's a stand, like a print and place stand. The thing I like about this one though, is the fact that it kind of would have to have tight tolerances in order to do that. So popped it off the bed here. Whoop, ooh, that came up good. Check it out, man, that printed in place, no problem. This is great. Well, we need to flip around the other way here. There we go, so you can adjust the, the angle you want it to sit at, you know, according which slot you put it in. This is a print in place model straight off of the USB. Guys, I'm impressed. Creality, stepping up their game, especially compared to the machines I tried last year. You know, I love the Creality K1 series, but to be honest with you, this Ender 3 V3 for the price point, it's crushing it, crushing it so far. So, I think that this is definitely an awesome printer, definitely worth checking out. I'm excited to get out there and do a long-term review for you guys over it. If this is the type of content you wanna see, hit that subscribe button down below. We'll see you next time on Shayway.